Okay, so this video is in two parts. The first part is the basic task of getting a clip from a DVD. So I have a DVD loaded into my DVD drive. I am going to, and I've stopped it at a point where I can pick up. So I'm just going to click on the play button and the video, in this case, the movie Fargo will play in the background and just the title screen. So I just want to create a short clip of this video. So what I'm going to do is go to the playback menu and choose record. Now you won't know that much is happening other than the video is playing, but in the background, a recording is being made to my hard drive. When I'm done with the section or the clip that I want to take, I'll click on the playback menu once again and choose record again. And what that essentially does is it stops the recording. I'm going to stop the video and close this window. And now if I go to my hard drive in my movies folder, I've got a file that says VLC record and then a bunch of other information. So time and date stamp, name of the movie, etc. If I double click on this and my default player is QuickTime, but you could play this back in VLC if you wanted to. Um, I've got about a 20 second clip and if I click play, you'll see what I recorded. Okay, I don't need to play the whole thing. So that's the basic procedure of taking a DVD and recording a short clip of the movie. Now, part two of this are a couple of issues. Um, one of them is if you've recorded something and you don't see it anywhere on your computer, um, again, I set up mine to record into the movies folder. You may not be able to find the video if you've just started using VLC for the first time. So I'm going to go into VLC. And if I go to the preferences area, so VLC menu and then preferences, there are a few tabs at the top and one of them is input slash codex. This is the record directory that you're going to record your movies into or record your clips into. So if this is blank, you may not be able to find where your videos are until you specify a directory. So I specified movies. You can choose anything by going to the browse menu, choosing where you want that to go and clicking the choose button and then making sure that you click on the save button. So from now on, anything that I record in VLC is going to be saved to the hard drive in that movies folder or whatever folder you've specified. Okay. The other part of this or second part, the next part is it saves the file in an MPEG format. Now, typically these days in 2020, we save our files in a format called MP4. This is a direct transfer from the MPEG files, the MPEG-2 in this case, from the movie. So this, this clip from Fargo is actually an MPEG copy of that section. So it's about 20 seconds of video. Um, doesn't take up too much space either. But if this isn't recognized or doesn't play back in a program, or it doesn't kind of work the way that you need it to, you may need to convert it. And a program that I recommend that you convert it with is called Handbrake. And Handbrake is available uh, if you search for Handbrake and uh, conversion, you'll find both Mac and PC versions of Handbrake. The final point that I want to make is um, I created this video and I, and I purposely didn't record the audio from the DVD. It will record the audio and the other part of this that you might be already guessing where I'm going with this is that you're recording a copyrighted piece of work. And if you post this somewhere else and put it in your own space or re-upload it to YouTube, you may be violating copyright laws um, or digital media copyright laws. Um, so this is not 
for the purpose of duplicating an entire DVD, I work in an education environment. So this would be, under fair use, a way to grab a clip that I could use in something like uh, a narration of a review or for a discussion. So it's something that you would use in an educational environment and not to simply copy movies to your hard drive. So just want to make sure that all that stuff is kind of specified. Um, this is for educational purposes only. Um, and in some cases, I might want to put it on a, a campus learning management system or something like that. So um, hopefully this allows you to do what you want to do. If you have any questions, certainly put them down in the comments area. Um, I can answer questions to the extent that I'm able to. But I hope the first part of this being quick and easy and sh showing how to do it is helpful. And hopefully the second part of this information is helpful if you decided to listen to it. So thanks for watching.